Hello everybody, my name is JT Sweet. We uh, you call me Shay for short. We are going to be reacting to another video today. Of course, I will be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So, links for all the original video is going to be down below. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we gotta be thinking, okay, okay, this man gotta be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here and he only scratched him. He looks so, oh my God. he looks so pretty. Ay, 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 mm. Ay, ay, mm. Ay, 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 ay. Let's go, let's go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Let's go. Well, today, we have something special. We got see, a special this is edition? This not just a disrespectful video. Nah, we are also returning to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Let's, because a new let's challenger go. is on the horizon to be judged and to take his seat at... Oh, you don't think I saw him? There he is. My baby. French Vegeta. <laughs> there he is. Just again. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know if y'all saw me react to this video yet. Oh my god. Links are gonna be down below for this one. Oh my god. It is so so crazy. And the links are down below for Broly's down here too. Oh my god. This one was so crazy. So I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna give y'all a heads up. All links are all links for this series gonna be down below. It was wild. Wild. <laughs> Oh my god, and they have Omicron man right there, right by Vegeta. Links for that one is gonna be down below as well. Blah 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 Just check button down below. Sorry. On table of menaces, but ladies and gentlemen, please rise as it is time to brace the sun because Escanor has finally arrived to take his seat. Like this man's arrogance is just straight up unmatched. Dude will literally go zero to 100 in a second. Like this man is so prideful, so arrogant, just straight up disrespectful. I just had to give him his own episode. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Let's go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A. Exhibit bodying A. Bonnie, the Ten Commandments. So while Heart. Bonnie, Lane, and Jericho are on the run from Galen and Melaskula, they end up falling into a ravine and they're trying to find a place to hide. So they end up finding this cave and they see this door. So they walk in the door Bread. and they end up finding a tavern with this dude so when you watch this for the first time you're looking at the screen you like who is this skinny ass <laughs> and bro is scared he's like hold on hold on holy night nah g hold on i'm not trying to get arrested today so then he starts talking to bond and jericho's like wait a minute you know this skinny ass nigga hold on hold on cuz something is off so he ends up hiding them in his pantry so then gallon and melaskula pull up and bro is <laughs> bricks right now so they end up getting wasted in his tavern and they like okay. oh yes we like you cuz shoot when we wipe out humanity we gonna keep you alive but then okay. they're like all right bro give it up we know them is hiding in that pantry but then gallon's like you know what Let's play a game. If you win, I'll let them slide. Okay. All you have to do is literally have a turn-based battle with me. Bro literally wants to have an actual Pokemon battle with this man. And if you run away, you turn into stone. So dude just straight up slaps him and he is out cold. And Gallon's like, damn, I thought I only tapped a little on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry ass. So then it turns morning and the sun is up. And homie is still laid out. So then Gallon is looking at this wall and he sees this ginormous axe. Ooh, that's so pretty. He's trying to pick it up, but he can't even lift it. So it's like, damn, this heavy ass ass. What the fuck is this mule near or some shit? So then Bro <laughs> snatches it right out of his hand. I was like, nigga, get your filthy ass hands off of my damn ass. <laughs> I feel sorry for y'all niggas because y'all came all the way here just to die a painful death. So they like, hold on, wait a minute. No way you could be human. But he like, nah, I'm a human, I right. But the thing is, I stand above demons. I stand above gods. I stand above everybody. I will literally step on your ass. Okay, so am I alone or did that not explain anything? So then we finally see he this got, is he Eskimo with a sin of pride. And my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least about 500 pounds just worth of pure raw muscle. muscle. And his Amen. Whole personality just took like a whole 180 turn. Dogs like I had to take off the light up sketches and throw on the black one, so what's good? So Let's Gallon's go. Gallon's like, oh, you bold, bold. You the most arrogant bastard I've ever met. So Let's Gallon go. starts laughing at Eskimo. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes. Get out of my face. Hell no. Till the no, no, no. Hell till the no. 
cut him in half with no warning at all. So Gallon reattaches himself, and he's like, ooh, yes, I like this, my boy. So then Escanor basically says, yeah, uh, I basically kind of held back on you because uh, there's no point in one-shotting you because that's no fun. So Dog gets pissed off because he's basically just been humiliated. So then he charges up to full power, and he's like, all right, then, you want to talk that hot shit? So be it. So bro just whacks him at full power like, my God, bro, the mountains have split. So we got to be thinking, okay, okay, this man got to be dead, right? Right? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> this man is still standing here, and he only scratched him. Oh, you oh, dead. God. You. <laughs> <laughs> that has got to be the most humiliating way to ever die, bro. You ended up dying playing your own game with your own dumb ass stipulations that you made with it. And Escanor talking heavy right now. He like, and I don't blame him. I mean, it was against me. So then he's looking at old girl and he's like, listen, uh, so I don't hit females. So I'll give you a choice. You can escape or you could die. Just pick. But then she ends up activating her DSLs and she's like, Ooh, give me your soul. Ooh. So she just straight up snatches soul. this Ooh. man's soul and straight up eats. <laughs> But this man's soul is so hot, it literally starts frying her insides. Looking like she just ate a whole bag of talkies and ghost pepper chip. You know what? This is why equality should matter, okay? The same way he whooped that guy behind, he should have beat her behind. Now she, now she going around with, now she going around with the herpy mouth. Bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm sorry. I'm dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this man just straight up deep fried her and turned her into a piece of charcoal. And she is done, GG's. So then he starts talking to Bond and he's like, listen, my boy, it's almost noon. So you stay your ass here and that's an order. <laughs> Oh, man ain't even a captain and he giving orders hey yo i wouldn't i wouldn't move either I, i'm sorry oh nah bro this man's different so after this escanor decided to just take a little side quest so we ended up fighting gother and just straight up slapped him from him with his memories then after this he just straight up one shot of the city and drove and jesus christ like, next time you play with my memories like that I'm gonna slap the fuck out of you. So later on, the Jesus. Ten Commandments launch a full attack on Leonis. And everybody is paralyzed because of Esterosa's commandment, which is basically anybody that stands before him literally like cannot move. They can't attack him or anything. What commandment is that? Escanor's big ass is walking right up towards this nigga. Bro's like, hold on, hold on, why are you moving right now? And bro's like, why should I bear any hatred towards somebody weaker than myself? All I feel is pity. So dog gets right up in his face and he's like, yeah. Oh, I gotta watch this anime. hit real good tonight, boy. Then this man says, please don't harbor any hatred towards me. If you would be stricken by the own effects of your commandment, then it wouldn't be any fun for me. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yo, this man basically said, hey, yo, you better watch your own powers, bro, because that might end up backfiring on you from being face to face with me. Yo, this man is a demon. So then Escarosa just socks him. And Escanor's like, oh, so it's like that, that then. And then just pile drives him all the way down. And then he kicks him all the way up like a damn elevator. And just straight up comboed his ass. Okay. Damn, he getting his ass beat right now. But dude ends up throwing a punch and he blocks it. But the punch oh, was so yeah. strong, it drops him. Dog's like, oh, what's wrong? Did a coin fall on the ground or some shit? Don't tell me that little weak ass punch out your school just knocked the win out you. So then they end up swinging again, but he ends up using a full counter on him. So while Esteros is explaining his ability, Escanor's just patting his scratch like, wow, no wonder I actually felt pain from that. It was my own strength. So he charges up his son and he's like, hmm, I guess I gotta get serious myself now. So he just straight up blasts his son. Dude literally launched him all the way to the lake. This man is just riding the sun looking down at him like, hmm, you really thought you ate that sh didn't you? Bum ass nigga. So then he just straight up slams this sun in his face and drills this all the way to the bottom of the lake. And Dog said, no, I'm not even done yet. So then he blows it up and it just straight up 
evaporates it entirely. And he is walking towards him without a care in the world right now. Look at him, he technically just deep fried him in the lake. So to get to scrap again, but Esterosa ends up using a full counter and looks like he just blasted his entire face off. So Esterosa thinks he's already won. He's like, yeah, I'm smoking your pack tonight, cuz. Mm -hmm. All that muscle for nothing. You sorry as hell. But oh boy. <laughs> Would you look at the time? <laughs> it's time. <laughs> That his chest gets split open and bro starts talking he's like wow well, you really thought you ate didn't you who decided that you thought this was over who decided that bum ass nigga i decide when this is over the dog's like do yourself a favor and out of my face so he just sends a fly bro is gone and then zell just comes in and tries to stop it but that's just dumb why why Learn something from anime. Don't be a Captain Saber Ho. Learn something. Learn from this. Like Tyra said, learn from this. Don't be a Captain Saber Ho, okay? If you can't save yourself, why are you trying to save somebody else, okay? Talk to Jesus about saving yourself and then tell him to go to God by saving saving himself. You can't you can't save somebody if both of y'all are already drowning. Somebody gotta take swimming lessons, okay? Dude just really fried them off the map. Yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to uh, Exhibit, Exhibit B. B. Uh, I mean, I've already. All right, I... Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Exhibit B. Exhibit B consists of running Meliodas's pockets and embarrassing a god. So as we can see right now, Meliodas has lost his damn mind. So Escanor is like, hmm, looks like I gotta clean up the little boy's mess. <laughs> so he tells Merlin to trap them both in this cube. So while Meliodas is in his assault form, bro is talking mad heavy right now. Bro's like, shut your fat ass up, you lowly human. So Escanor is looking at him like, hmm, so you wanna fight, boy? So Escanor is like, yeah, I'm in a good mood right now because I can finally prove while I'm better than you. Look at your drip, whack. Look at your animation quality. Whack. <laughs> so they start swinging so Meliodas hits him with the B blade. Let it rip. So Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor and Bro ends up falling back. So everybody's like, ain't no way this boy just lost. But Merlin's like, nah, G, hold on, hold on. <laughs> A few more minutes. So Escanor gets up and he's like, wow, that actually kind of stunk. You pretty strong, my boy, but obviously second to me. God, bro, this man is getting bigger, bro. He has no neck. Oh, is a punching him in the chest. Then he puts his nasty ass, low budget, stink ass feet on his face. Like, come on, bro. So they continue to scrap. So Melio just swings, but his sword ends up getting stopped by this man's muscles. I was like, get this weak ass butter knife off me. So then he starts swinging, but Melio just ends up using this man as a human pinball. So Meliodas thinks it's over, but oh, oh, oh. <laughs> look at the time. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like a fusion between Abomination and the Hulk. So then Meliodas attacks him and slices him about a thousand times. But then bro turns around and looks at him like, wow, that tickles. I just don't give a fuck. So he uses his hand, cuts the literal air, and it one shots him. <laughs> Nigga hit him with a divine chop. <laughs> then he's looking down at him like, how does it feel? How does it feel to get looked down on by a human? You jazz nigga. Even though this animation quality is ass, it still didn't stop me from whipping your ass. God, bro, he just bodied this man, beat him so bad he made him look like a Roblox custom created character. <laughs> so later on, Eskimo is walking down this alleyway with Hog. And I ain't gonna lie, man's just acting hella down bad right now. Man's just like, oh. Lady Merlin, let me get them cheeks. Just gonna sniff the coochie, that's all I ask. So while this is happening, the archangels are getting drunk off their ass. And then Dosio's like, my God, what is this presence? Is this a drink hitting? So then he flies outside. He's like, hey, yo, big and fat ass. What y'all doing out here, man? Then Eskinor's like, oh my, Princess Margaret has been taken over by a So then he jumps up and he's like, <clears throat> pardon me, but uh, it disgusts me to be looked down on by someone smaller. So allow me to reintroduce myself. King Kong ain't got shit on me! My name is Eskimo. Pleasure to meet you. Bitch. Oh my god. My name is Ho. What? Dude, bro, that now that's look, hey, yo, man. I have to watch this. What it, I I this has to be on like Quirky Roller uh Funimations. I have to find this because I wanna watch this. Oh my god. 
I'm sorry. Let me reintroduce myself. I just I just can't be looked on looked down on by somebody who's lesser than me. That is golden. You feel the audacity on this man. <laughs> Dude really had to take the high ground to assert his dominance <laughs> over a god. So Ludosio starts attacking him. <laughs> this man is just straight up slapping his sword away, bruh. Dog is looking at him like, uh, bitch, can I help you? So he starts swinging again and Dude is weaving all this John, dog. I was like, can you please calm down with this temper tantrum you were throwing, ma'am? So he grabs him, but he escapes and he ends up chopping up his whole shirt. So then Ludosio basically says, all right, listen, my boy, uh, you got my brother's power, so uh, I'm gonna need you to run your pockets. But then Eskimo points at her and he's like, shut your stupid ass up. I ain't relinquishing shit. You know what, matter of fact, run your fucking pockets, bitch. So bro just straight up <laughs> evaporates his sword. He's like, you should be grateful I'm slept her. Get out of your dumb ass for running up on me like that. Ugh, the king of arrogance strikes again. So yeah. Hold up, that was a boy? It had boobs. That was a boy? That was a boy character? I, I have so many questions! That's why I thought that was a chick. This is why I need to watch it. Yeah, that was exhibit B and it is finally time for our final exhibit. Let's go. <clears throat> exhibit C. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit, exhibit C. Exhibit C consists of poking Zeldris and jumping the Demon King. So as we can see, Ludosio, Merlin, and Escanor are squaring up with Zeldris, Cusack, and Chandler right now. <laughs> Look how he is looking down at this man, bruh. Looking down at him like he's about to discipline his child or something. Them some. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest and serious, sorry. I had to reapply. When was this animation created? Because like they have some good moments of animation and then they have like moments like this where it's like not really that defined. So I'm trying to figure it out. And did they give him a defined glute? Let's go. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot. So while they're fighting, Zeldris uses this move and it's like a literal vacuum. So while everybody's getting pulled in, look how this man anchors himself down. God, yo, this man is just a straight Ooh. giga. Bruh, say, I'm not moving an inch. So Ludosio ends up getting stuck on Escanor's back. And look at him, he's like, wow, you need a piggyback ride or some shit? So Ludosio's asking for help, but Escanor's like, nah, G, I'm, I'm good. good. Matter of fact, what gives you the authority to give me orders? <laughs> so Ludosio's like, who the hell do you think you're talking to, nigga? I'm a god. And bruh's like, uh, get okay, congratulations. You want a cookie or something? Sorry, but I don't obey weak niggas. And then Merlin's like, bruh, just help the bitch. So then he grabs her like a toy, and he's like, all right, then uh, you better have a good plan or else I'm going to let your ass go right here, right now. But then they end up getting slammed into a wall again. So then Escanor's like, all right, yo, I I'm sick of this. I'm about to discipline this boy. So this man gets up and he is straight up walking through the vacuum. And Maz is talking heavy right now. He's saying first Meliodas, then Esterosa, and now yo bitch ass. <laughs> my, my, looks like I got to body the whole family now. And then Zeldra's talking and he's saying, nah, I ain't like them. I'm built different. Then Escanor just laughs at him and he's like, shut up, boy. Don't bullshit a bullshit. So he slams his axe into him, but his axe ends up cracking. I was like, you know what, bro? I don't even need the axe. So he just straight up chucks the axe. And Zeldris is like, hmm, you've laid down your weapon. You must have accepted death, haven't you? But Eskimo is like, nah, nigga. I don't need a hand for your ass. So he gives him the divine chop. And oh my god, look at Zeldris, bro. He's like, oh my god. Let's go. Only using a hand. So Zeldra steps back, but Eskimo is like, nah, bring that ass here, boy. So he hits this man with the divine poke. He straight up pokes him. Bruh. That right there might be one of the most disrespectful things in, in just history. Imagine fun. Nigga, how you die? I got poked. I'm sorry. If you're gonna be going to heaven or hell with that story, you need to, you need to, you need to, um, I know it's wrong to lie, but you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you need to tell the whole story because they'd be like, hey, man, how you die, man? I got shot eight times. How did you die, man? Somebody, you know, they used wind scar on me. Okay, man, how did somebody die, man? Command Bay Blast. How did you die? By, 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 poke? Really, nigga? Get your ass off this plane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they beat you by poking you to death.
Nah, bro, I would never show my face again. So after this, Escanor actually ended up losing his power of sunshine. And the Demon King is attacking, and this little thing is licking this man up right now. Like, Jesus Christ. But then Mael comes down and saves him. But then Escanor's saying, all right, listen, bro, I need sunshine back. But Mael's like, uh, you know you will die if you get this power back, right? But bro's like, ah, if I get to run the hands with the Demon King before I die, then so be it. So while they're fighting the demon, this man comes out of nowhere and stops his sword with his hand. Looking at him like, my, my, hello, bootleg Sephiroth, how are you? <laughs> Today is not your lucky day because, uh, look at the time. It's hot. <laughs> And this man is talking heavy. Man's like, you whack ass demon. I can't wait to beat the brakes off of your ass. So then he tells everybody to stay out of this. This is my fight and my fight only. So they both just start swinging. My Move God. Your Straight up rock him, sock him. Then he just smashes his head into the ground. He's saying, you are nothing compared to me, you weak ass nigga. Your punch is soft as hell. King Kong ain't got shit on me. So they keep on scrapping, and then he turns into like this ginormous flaming Super Saiyan nigga like Infernape. So we get back to the fight, and this man is just eating all of his punches to the face. Then he just started walking him down and just laying all the hands on him. Oh my just absolutely God. comboing the shit out of his ass. So, I mean, we got a little bit of his backstory, and yeah, yeah, this man was a menace. Straight up slapped Meliodas and Vaughn, and then he ran out and just literally beat up an entire mountain. So, we get back to the fight, and Meliodas is getting mad on him. He's like, bro, you really ain't gonna let us jump in with you? Come on, dog. At least let us get a few licks in. So, he just said, all right, then. So, they just jumped him. And that was basically raps after that. And then, yeah, you know, after this, <sighs> the worst part of this show happened, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. One of the only reasons I even watched this show was because of this man dog. Said, sorry, y'all, I gotta ascend to the round table. Hey, I mean, at least he got the smooch at the end, though. Yeah, but all right, Peter, really to do it, man. <laughs> so, yeah, after all that evidence, bro, just come in, take your seat, just sit your ass. Down just the plane up arrogance in just the absolute zero to 100 switches. Nah, bro, there, there, there should be no question. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, make sure y'all go sub to the second channel. We're actually starting Elden Ring this week. So, I'm I'm still gonna watch it. I'm still gonna watch it. I I I'm already down with watching this. I mean, like I mean, like I mean, like I I even though he even though he dies, whatever. I'm still down for watching it. I knew I knew I knew like I knew Light was gonna die on in Death Note because my friend spoiled it for me. But I still watched the whole thing, so I'm still gonna watch this just just for his part because I love an arrogant character. Come on, Vegeta's my number one person. Come on, dog. <laughs> like you just totally know this by now. But again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And all links of this gonna be down below. And I, I guess I'm going to be binge watching another another anime. So I'm very, very happy. So, like my grandmother always says, so long. It was a nightmare. 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 Nightmare.